Mirasaura graufogeli means the wonder reptile of Graufogel. And it's called wonder reptile for obvious reasons. And it's called Graufogeli uh, after Louis Graufogel, who was the collector who for many decades in the Elsass uh, collected thousands of fossils, including all fossils of Mirasaura, which have now been transferred back in 2018, 2019 to our museum, the Museum of Natural History in Stuttgart. So feathers and the structures of Mirasaura both are composed of outgrowths from the skin that have a central structure in the middle and a sheet on either side. But the structures of Mirasaura fundam uh, fundamentally differ from feathers in that they lack any type of branching. So these sheets in, in feathers are all branched into tiny minuscule branches called barbs and this is totally absent in Mirasaura which must mean that they fundamentally grew in a different way. What makes Mirasaura so special is that Originally, we've always thought that reptiles are generally very scaly, generally cold-blooded animals, and it was only the birds and the dinosaurs that were able to grow these complex outgrowths from the skin that also allowed them to become warm-blooded. And what Mirazaura shows us is that these types of complex outgrowths from the skin predate dinosaurs by a long time and most likely predate the evolution of all reptiles alive today and this fundamentally changes what we know about reptiles. So Mirasaura is a member of a group of reptiles that only lived during the Triassic called Trypanosaurus which is one of the most bizarre group of reptiles that have ever lived and they were highly specialized to living in trees. They had these slender snouts, very bird-like snouts uh, that were used to pry for insects and also large eyes that allowed them to, to search for these insects and they also had a tail that was prehensile allowing it to uh, grab uh, trees and, and hold on to trees and also arms that were very heavily specialized towards digging into trees and for grasping at, at its insect prey. So the discovery of feathered dinosaurs uh, in China in the 1990s really fundamentally changed our understanding of dinosaurs and when feathers first evolved. The discovery of Mirasaura, in our opinion, is very important, but as with the discovery of the Chinese dinosaurs, we will have to see in future years how important this discovery will truly be. So what Mirasaura Graufogli shows us is how surprising evolution can be, especially during this time period, the Triassic, and it really changes in many ways what we thought we knew about reptiles and how their skin evolved.